김 실장입니다. And may I ask you to introduce yourself? My name is Adrian Moore. I'm head of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences here at the University of Sunderland. London에서 대학교 약대 헤드 교수님을 모시고서는 제가 오늘 부탁드릴 게 있습니다. Before this video, I show the, the textbook of Korean. It showed the two kind of chemistry book in mm -hmm. Korean. When you saw the syllabus of the book, how did you feel? I thought there was good subject coverage. A key thing here in terms of the underpinning chemistry for a student that's looking to study pharmacy is that they have a background in basic chemistry, which is covered in the textbook that Michael has shown me. So the sorts of things that we're looking for are an understanding of acid-base theory. So can you recognize whether molecules are acidic or basic? And the chemistry that sits behind that. What is also important is the study of chemical reactions and reaction equilibria and reaction thermodynamics. So how likely a reaction is to take place. And when we translate that, when we start to look at pharmacy, about how biochemical reactions take place in the body and how catalysis works in the body. So again, just thinking about how reactions can be enhanced is important. And again, what we see in the textbook is a coverage of thermodynamics, of kinetics, genetics of catalysis. What is also important is an understanding of basic chemistry of carbon containing molecules because our body is largely carbon containing alongside water but all the drug molecules that one finds that are part of standard prescriptions are all organic so they're all carbon containing. So again what we see in the textbooks is a coverage of basic organic chemistry looking at simple functional groups so alkanes, alkynes, carbonyl compounds, esters, amides, and these are all really important just to understand the very, very basic chemistry associated with these functional groups because we find them in all drug molecules. And when a drug molecule enters the body, it's the functional groups that are really important as to how that drug molecule interacts with our body. And similarly, of course, if you think about the human body and the biological molecules in the human body, things like proteins, amino acids, DNA, so made with ribonucleotides, these are also all organic biomolecules. So again, that basic understanding of organic molecules is really important. And the other thing that I think is really important, particularly for a student joining us from overseas, is not only that they have a good understanding of, if you like, conversational English, but also that they have an understanding of scientific English. So a lot of education is taking place in Korean, mm -hmm. but actually everything that we do here is taught in English mm -hmm. with some of the scientific discussion, so some of the scientific terminology. And that's not a normal conversation now. This is now slightly different. Mm -hmm. And of course, from a scientific perspective, we're not just teaching chemistry as mm -hmm. part of pharmacy. We also have microbiology, we have pharmacology, we have a new science that you might not have, never have heard of, which is called pharmaceutics. Mm -hmm. So this is how to take a drug and turn it into a medicine. So to take paracetamol, and make a paracetamol tablet. There's a brand new science that very, very few people usually have seen before they start a pharmacy course. Does that help? Yeah, absolutely, it helps a lot. So even student has studied only this basic yeah. level of chemistry, are they able to start studying like new 